Hello, internet. We are back. I, I juked you. I, three. I counted up what? from one instead of down from three. You sure did, but I was ready for it, bitch. I... Anyway, today, we are going to be doing a little bit of a hero quest. First off, Sid, I'll tell you how to get that started. I have a walkthrough. Go to Colony 4 for me, bestie. Okay. In the fair foreignest region. Did you say characters? Alright. Foreness. There we go. Colony Zoom out. Four. There it is. Where? Oh, yep, right, there. right there. Where? I say as I'm on it. <laughs> you say as you're hovering over it. So you need to find the herding monsters. So you know the eye icon? The like when you're walking around and you see a little dot above people's heads? Yeah. See if we can find it. I have to go listen in on people. Yeah, just look around. Such a pleasant fragrance. Good to add more names. Good to add more names. I'm sorry I'm not listening to anything they're saying. You people need Why? mean nothing to me. Does this place feel <laughs> so familiar? No, see, there's an eye icon. Oh, yeah. So see if that's the one. I see some relations have changed. You don't have to press ZR, by the way. Could you can you just stay in the area. Okay, I don't want to look at this guy. You have to have it in view. There you go. I hate this angle. Highlands! It's stand back. Get back. The state. You don't have to be that close to him. Just have him. Yeah, like right there. Highlands. Highlands. In unset. unset okay, that's not it. Can't that's... A bit of good intel. I'm just talking to these people because I like getting points. Good to add more names. Icon. 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 Uh. Icon. Icon. Oh, I can go in here. It's gonna be near the cafeteria. Oh, okay. Like, outside? Around the cafeteria. The canteen? Canteen, same diff. Such a pleasant fragrance. Who's talking? I don't know. Oh, so attention, attention! Oh. Oh, that must be it. They're in the camp. Is this monster sightings? Or whatever? Oh, wait. Hold on. Get closer. There I am. Oh, <gasps> in here. Excuse me! <gasps> Hi, I'm with Ouroboros. Changes. No way, no. This was the right one, but I think we just missed it over there. There's more. They're on the other side. Hold on. Yeah. There we go. Now stay still, Sid. Ethel being here when she was dead. There it is. There it is. Hurting there monsters. It is. Go to a rest spot. That pretty seems pretty innocuous. So people could miss that easily. Better make yeah, sure but we're this, well rested. that's the point of this quest. This quest is very secret. Let's lay out the facts. So, just as we finish solving the resources problem, a pack of monsters show up. They said they you deal, said with, they it. deal oh. with it. <laughs> we can help, right? Don't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And how long are we supposed to hold their hands? Have you forgotten what they're actually meant to be doing? <laughs> no, of course not! Colony 4 problems have a Colony 4 to solve. Ethel said as much. Ethel is right here, but I get it. Different Ethel. <laughs> and we're outsiders. The more we meddle, the more they'll be on guard against us. 
Do you think that what do you think that what we've been doing is just meddling? I think coddling is the right word. Meddling, not meddling. Who cares as long as we're helping? The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Huh. I think I remember Ethel saying that. Yes, but think about it. Doesn't it mean that if you don't take the action in the first place, you can't know if it's good or bad? I'm not sure that's what she meant, but... Oh! Mio, you're... She's right. Is what she is. Sitting here wringing our hands won't do anything. The colony four gang are going to be at the barren no knoll, right? They're at the grassy knoll? Oh no! Do you know that ain't far? We can at least, you know, look in on them, make sure they're handling themselves. Do you know what the grassy knoll is? Not at all. I agree with Uni. Tyon? No objections. It's a logical conclusion following what I originally said. Good. We'll do everything we we well. We'll do something anyway. <laughs> we'll certainly there we do go. something. That's our quest. The let's grassy. See if we can get the other... While we're here, let's see if we can get the other one that we need to do in Colony 4. Hold on, let me look up where it is. Uh, uh, I don't think it's that. Tactical eradication. Let me see how to get it. Tactical eradication. It's probably the other one we didn't do. The no, other information. It, it might not be. We'll see. Sorry, I burped. Oh no, we need to we need to clear charity and ho hypocrisy to get it, so. Okay. So we gotta do that first. Um the grassy knoll is like the hill near uh when JFK was shot and they were like, oh. Who's on the grassy knoll? Because they thought someone there shot him, but they didn't. It's just a conspiracy oh, theory. There's a lot of conspiracy about that shoot, that specific shooting. I know it was a big deal, but it's interesting that that had like a bunch of yeah conspiratorial stuff. There's the grassy knoll, the guy with the umbrella. Uh, there's, there's even a fucking SCP revolving the GAFK shootings, where it's like that's like the the last definitive moment in history. It's so weird. Uh, I mean. There, uh, Stephen King wrote a book about it in like an alternate future where he didn't get shot everything went bad so this guy had to go back and uh, cause it to happen weird It's a, and they made a show about it and the show's really good uh, hey look these guys are level 18 Sid they will last one millisecond let's pitch in Let's kill him! We don't even have to fight him. What? Maxson. You? Conversation can wait. We'll take it from here. Oh, they're just little unicorn squirrels. Good to add more names. Oh, these guys are gonna- oh my god. Say goodbye to your life. They have 17 of them? Bro. Uh, good thing we're just absurdly high level. Oh my god, there's so many of them. What if we just fuse and annihilate all of them? Why not? Turn it into a Warriors game, baby! It's a Warriors game! This is so satisfying. That was good. Nice. How is everyone? No interest? Why'd you help us? Do we need a reason? Well, Agnes helping out Kevis, it's unheard of, isn't it? Pet catch up, dude. Come on. Your point? Do you not 
get yep. it yet. We do not trust you. Okay. And? Oh, these are the guys. Say, do you remember? These were the guys who said Mio's crew, like, Agnes shot and killed their friends. Yeah. When they were getting dinner. Yeah. I remember that. That was a long yeah. time ago. That's you. I know, I said, Mimi, it's him. Oh, you're whispering. Oh, you again. You just don't talk. Shut the fuck up, dude. You don't know what we've been through since we last talked. It's time. She actually has died since you last met. True. So. We heard you were in close with the commander. She's actually right here. But that doesn't mean anyone else in Colony 4 trusts you. Not trying to win your trust. You just needed help. What did you say? I don't care about obligations. I just don't want to turn my back on anyone who fights for others. That's why we stepped in. No more reason than that. So you act in accordance with your principle principles, that's it? <laughs> that's the best lie an Agnes lover like you can come up with? Hey, we love Agnes. Because she's Agnes hot, lover. I mean. <laughs> Sorry we overstepped our bounds. We'll go. I guess next time we'll just leave you to the 17... To 17 unicorn squirrels. Uh, okay, fine. I approve of Ethel's judgment. Oh, just like that? Huh? I apologize for what I said before. I was just trying to test you. Sure. Yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Come on, Maxie. What are you saying? Commander trusted you from the start. We have a duty to abide by her wishes. We heard about the thing with the medical surprise. Supplies. That was all you. <laughs> anyway, we may as well introduce ourselves now. I'm Maxi, tactician squad leader. Good lad, Maxi. Uh, so what kind of test were you talking about earlier? Bullshit. I mean, we wanted to use this opportunity to make sure of something. Whether we could entrust our mission to, well... Uh, what? You wanna say something, Agnes, racist? Captain, you mean your strategy was aimed at them? I think he's just kind of bullshitting. I highly doubt it. Yeah. I was pretty sure you'd pass. Wait, are you serious right now? Them... Jeremy, I'm not saying this makes up for the past. But we can't forget that we're fighting for the living. <laughs> we're in a critical situation. We need to break out of it while we can. And we got just a plan to do it. I want your help to make it happen. Are you sure about this? I'll be frank, we don't have the firepower. We're busy shoring up colony defense, so taking out some enemies will help us. But more than that... I thought that proving your sincerity to everyone would be inspiring. I see. There's some days yet before the operation begins, so just think it over. Right. He's so mad. I can't blame him, actually. That's the thing. We did it! If I saw my friend being goody two shoes with the got people who killed my drink. friend, even though they're not the same people, they worked with them, so like. Alright, so do we go back to Colony 4? Correct. We have, next up, we have to find the tactician's plan info. Let's find it. Which is near the. Uh, it's none of it. It's not in the Varanus. I'll say hey, that. About this thing with I'll Ethel. take a look. Yeah. I guess we should tell Boliaris about it personally. 
Don't worry about that. He already bath, knows. Bath, need bath. What? She was saying she needs a bath, apparently. Say, so just, just zoom out. There we go. You didn't want to reach gold, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these they people know. knew. Yeah. That's right, because we informed them. Remember? Yeah, we did. Oh, zoom out. Seth. Zoom out. That's nope, not that one. That's not it. Uh, it's going to be Tactician's Plan, is what it's called. It's somewhere just around. Like it's just like Fire not... Emblem Awakening. <laughs> yes, because that game invented the word tactician. <laughs> it's true. It did. In my mind, it did. True. I've never. I didn't really think about the word until I played the Such game. A pleasant fragrance. Let's see here. It's in the colony. <laughs> It's not outside of it, I can tell you that. It's not in the Varanus. So go to the right. You're kind of just chilling in the tent area. Go back to the area near the, like, lunches. Okay. Take a oh, look. there yeah, it's there. probably there that. It is. There it is. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Yup. Good job, there. Okay, let me edit this list. We got Charity and Hypocrisy done. Imminent Illusion is the first quest where we saw the random robot in the woods, remember? Yeah, I remember that. So that one's already done. Let's talk about this. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Let's lay out the facts. Hold on one second, I want to make sure that it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it was that. We already did it, we're good. I wonder what Max is planning. Whatever it is, he trusts us now, right? Something to celebrate. Yeah, it's good to know we haven't just been yelling into the void. We're useful. That said, not everyone was happy. That Jeremy lad, he's probably been through a lot. I and mean, actually said himself, not everyone's ready to be be bezies with us. Bezies? Is that supposed, is that supposed to be besties? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's bezies. In which case, is it wise to take him at his word? I think we should. Must even. He's worried about Colony 4, naturally. And if we can resolve the misunderstandings about us, as Maxie said, that me. Act first, worry later, yeah? Yeah, there's no point in rehashing it. We just need to do what we believe is right. Alright. Hey. Don't do that quest while I look up Severed Connection. Okay. The next one. Yippee! 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 Yeah, this one you kind of have to go is out of your way okay? to get. Yeah, this is a little bit crazy. The only real hint you're missing something is the fact of the icon on the screen, but I kind of like how there's one hero that's pretty not obvious. You know? Yeah, I I think it's good. At one of them. I'm glad this is the only one. I don't want every hero to be Yeah, this. I don't want to go through this for everyone. I'm glad. It's cool. <sighs> oh, we got an actual cutscene. Let's go! The hero quest is beginning, then. Yeah, basically. Oh, it's not oh, wait, voiced no, yet. Yeah. Not yet. Oh, phew! You made it back, okay? <laughs> well, Yoros gave us a heads up. We heard what That's... happened. So, Ethel's... Yeah, she's right here. <laughs> yeah, she's a different person now. Your expression says it all. She's better life on the fight, and she's gone. Who is Boliaris? I don't think 
I don't think we've ever had to voice Boliaris. Ugh. Ugh. I guess you could be Boliaris. Oh, Ethel. That can be you. Uh, I'll, I'll, okay, you could be Denzel. What? You could, uh, I'll be Denzel. You could be she Denzel. Was always, she was always charging off on her own, spark it. Okay, enough of the lathering. We need to decide where we go from here. I doubt Denzel is going to be an important character. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Yay, you're right. So what now, Boliers? Boliers? Hello? Mm. I just realized the two gold-winged uh, Hyantia are different people. Yeah, they're different. One has a voice like this, and the other has a voice like this. <laughs> Got it. No need. We need a plan. <laughs> oh, right. I'm sorry. I just... I need some time to think. Excuse? Hey, Boliaris! <laughs> I like these voices. I don't even know what voice I'm doing, but I like it. <laughs> He's taking it pretty badly, as you'd expect. The smoothest course is for the lieutenant to step up as commander. Things fall apart here, then what's going to endanger the mask going to endanger his colonies for survival? Yeah, but he's not up to it. Nothing we can do. <laughs> Empty chair. <laughs> Ethel sitting it. We need Ethel now more than ever. Ethel is right here! Just look, I'm kidding. She's basically a child and an adult. I'm kidding. No. She had her age fast forwarded. <laughs> Boliaris. I was gonna say she's I was gonna say she's a child in an adult's body, but she actually really isn't because she had the age of machine, so I assume she has the mentality of an adult, right? I think. No, I don't want to talk to that freak. I want to talk to this freak. Wait, you're really going to accept? <laughs> Come on, mate. You're the one who brought it up. We don't have to do Boliaris' thing, by the way. Oh, okay. Strange for me to say, but it's quite the selfish request. Nothing I could have done if you'd change your minds. Do you trust this a bit now? I do. I've learned not to be so hasty in judging people. So what's the plan? Essentially, there are three monsters to take out. But not essentially. It won't be easy. Which is why you came to us. Good guess. These three are pretty big deals. They're all level 29, though, so... <laughs> oh, not for us. You control all the monsters around the colony perimeter. You could say they're the boss monsters. Oh, are they unique monsters? Got it. Oh, then they scouted out their hard. No, they're still level 29, Sid. They're not gonna take them on. Fair. We scouted out their lairs, but Colony 4 doesn't have the firepower to spare on an extermination mission right now. Deploying all the squads who are meant to be protecting the colony would be pretty backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. But as long as those bosses are running wild, you can't resolve the monster attacks. Exactly. So think you can do it? And I'll sleep! We'll take him out in no time. Could we find out any more about these monsters? If you want to know more, then you should ask the scouts who found the lairs. My team, actually. Jeremy, Flaren, and Yord are you guys. Oh wait, wasn't Jeremy the one who was with you before? And Ethel's there? <laughs> uh, yeah, look, if he gives you any grief, report it to me and I'll deal with him. The best order of business is to talk to those three scouts then. Thanks for this, and good hunting. Yeah, we have to do. Th we have to do these. All we do of have them? to do these. 
Okay. They're just, they're part of the same quest, so don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, see, it's see still part of tactical eradication. Change. Yeah, I see. Your... By the way, don't worry about any of, don't worry about any of those eyes. This is the last one in Colony 4 we need to do. Okay. Captions already briefed me. I'll give you the info we collected on the monster. Much appreciated. It's a vault, but bigger than a normal one. No it fucking way. It covers a wide territory and is extremely agile. We analyzed its movements and confirmed Pinto Basin as the site of its lair. And that's about it. Thanks. Look at that information for us to be getting on. Don't let your guard down. We've already lost friends to this. Oh, you can seriously do a bit of the. Thank you. <laughs> uh, who else is around here? Uh, that sparks. That sparks. That fucks! Where are they? I can probably just check the map. Oh. One was inside. And one's right here. I'm gonna skip their dialogue because it's just monster info. Mm -hmm. So one was here. Where's the other one? Are they up here? Are you looking for? Well, uh, Jeremy. Did you not have it on the map? I thought he was up <laughs> here. There, he's right there. Okay, I guess he's outside. Yeah. That's some box. Is he hiding from me? Possibly. You can't go up there, right? No, Sydney. He would not be e even <laughs> up there. Oh, wait, no. You can. But I don't think he's up there, so... Said it, I think he might be. Because he says he's right in front of my eyes. Yeah, that's fair. Oh my god, <laughs> Dinzel! Your favorite character! Where's the up? There he is! Oh, he's sad. No, he's contemplating. I'm skipping this. Yay, we did it! So, I got all of the requests. Now what? Go back and talk to him. Uh, Max, Maxie. Oh. In the command room. I'm just 
gonna jump down. <laughs> Everyone. I didn't think that'd kill me! That's okay. Ooh, an Agnes airdrop yeah. on a Kevis base? Well, okay. I think they might just want us to kill the monsters. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's all you have to do. How about we go here? The Gorge of Odie. From Garfield? <laughs> Let's go someplace else. Let's go someplace else. No, I just want to show my quest line. I got distracted. Excuse me. I can tell what happened. I was, uh, Debating with someone who's being salty because I didn't make their care make a character win in the commission. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with him. <laughs> I was, I'm just being a little jerk. My my friend wanted one character to win in this commission. I did. I'm not saying which character because you haven't read it yet. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh my god, I you're just... you you were right. This isn't hard. I told this bed. He's in the ground. Hey, this feels pretty good. Great work, Sarah. I need you, Mia. Follow me. Well, that lasted more than two seconds. Yeah, it is a unique monster. Right, that was over way too soon. Hear that, Noah? Lance? Lance? Lance! Let's see, where's our next boy? Looks like There's our next boy. Here. There's our next boy. Well, let's do that one. Yeah. Let's get the hard one out, that we haven't been there. Hard in comparison. This is the area we got lost that one time. Our cover's blown. Oh no! Okay. This is what? level 61. Dude, why are we here? We don't have to fight these things. I mean, might as well. For fun. Okay. Let's see how good we- We're doing good. And I want a hard battle. I want a challenge. Okay.
Are we fighting these guys again, Finn? I want a challenge! Cindy! That's not good enough to see. It's taking you so long to fight one guy, Sid. And we've killed Seriously. two of them! Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, our healers are fused. That's why it would happen. Man, Sid, maybe you shouldn't have fought this completely unrelated battle. Well, okay. I'll run past them now. Oops! <laughs> I didn't mean to- Whoa! Good job, Uni! Wait! Uni's still going! I need to stop taking pictures. Anyways. Great job, Sid. That was totally worth it. Well, I ran away. I'm surprised I didn't die. You should be impressed. Remember when we got up the ability to run up sand dunes as if this was a thing yeah. we would face more than like three times? Excuse me. Another step forward. Oh, we have to get up there. Good music. Whoa, check this it is, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I'm not compensating. You're too busy being a being a goofball. <laughs> That's a big spider. All right, let's kill him. Gonna blast him into next week. Just spoiling for a fight, are we? Ariola.
Yay! We won! Nice job. Alright, let's keep the other one out of the way. Let's push on. Now, where the freak is this one? You ordered to quest. There we go. Okay, I settle all that. <laughs> that been settled. You were just doing side quests. I'm not missing much. Yeah, you're not. Oh miss shit! Did you beat the game? Yeah, I beat the game. It you wasn't a good Z? ending. Damn, you defeated Z. It was kind of a, it was kind of underwhelming, actually. Damn. Yeah, you're right. I lost it when Z said it's it's Moby at Moben time and moved all over. <laughs> he everyone. moved all over the place. Exactly. <laughs> it's Moben time. It's Moben time. Does Morbius really say it's Morben time? No, that's a completely made up phrase. Okay, I assumed so, but I wasn't quite sure. I haven't seen that's Mobius. That's the best part. It's not even in the movie. I mean, I... I would hope it's not in the movie. And I think that's- isn't that the entire point of the joke where people say an obviously fake line? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's Bobin time. I just really wanted to believe he said that. I think that he did. Remember when they re-released it because they thought it would be successful and then it wasn't? <laughs> They were like, oh, people are making memes of Mobius. I wonder if yeah. they'll see it in theaters. And then they didn't. And then, and then it failed it twice. I love, I love how the internet played the fuck out of them. It was they so thought, funny. oh, we'll release it again and they'll get more money. No one came again. <laughs> it's so good. Did you beat all of them? I think so. What about, wait, did you? Like, all? Yeah, I did. I beat all three okay. requests. Damn, good job, Seth. I'm that good at the game. I was talking with my friend about Icy Man versus Ezzy Death, and I got this correct. You got the swag. Icy Man versus Ezzy Death. <laughs> Let's talk to Maxi. Maxi from Pokemon? From Pokemon, Ruby, and Sapphire. Omega, Ruby, and Sapphire. I will always say they're better than Emerald. I know people disagree, but fucking wrong. Uh, who disagrees? Idiots? A lot of people, actually. Idiots and dummies? A lot of people think Emerald is better because of my Battle Frontier. <laughs> I mean, I understand. Battle Frontier is good. Uh, no, I agree. It's stupid. It wasn't included, but like, But on. like, as a game, come on, guys. I would rather play, yeah. Anyway, Maxi, it's done. All three monsters are taken care of. What? Really? He's staring Uni down. There's a breath, a little bit of each of the monsters. Isn't nature beautiful? Nature! This is- huh? Wow, um, yeah, thanks! This will result in less attacks from the monsters, too. That's got to be good. Y Mio, get the fuck off screen, love! Off screen? Oh, there they are. They're just there watching. We'll take it from here, then. Don't worry. We won't let your work be in vain. That said, if I were to ask one more little favor... Yeah, sure. Whatever you want. That's me. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want. Oh, my bad. I thought that was uni. <laughs> Did you run these monsters' pieces up to the procurement division? The procurement division? The department in charge of managing the colony supplies. They deal with anything scavenged for monsters. The head's vision is called Solon. Tell me- oh, Solon. We saw him. We met him in the meeting room. 
Tell him I sent you. He'll understand. Okay, Solon, got it. We'll head out the goods over. It's really again funny for all this. that everyone is just across the room. And Uni's the one? Or Solon. I assume they marked it on the map, right? Can you guys stop and give me a freaking quest? A freaking quest? No, I assume he's on the map, Sid. He's what? He's where? On the map. Yeah, he's right there. Oh. Oh. You stummy. Oh. 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 Such a pleasant fragrance. Ethel is smelling good shit. <laughs> Oh my god, Solon. Hello, can I help you? Maxie asked us to give you these. Let's see. Oh ho! Looks like a certain operation went pretty well. Thanks so much for everything you've done. I'll find a good use for these. It was pretty out of character for Maxie to have trusted you with this job. We thought so too. Getting outsiders involved is such an important task. No, not that. I mean, on a personal level. Maxie, Maxie used to be such a lone wolf. We're in the same cohort, and he used to be a real loose cannon. He was really a lot to deal with. Oh, uh, really? Hmm, that's a surprise. Good Maxi would have gone on a solo monster hunt. I'm leaning into Forrest Gump instead of Southern. Got it. <laughs> but somehow, but somehow he became a squad captain and learned how to ask for help. It's kind of a moving story, really. Oops, that certainly took a turn. Let's just keep this between us, okay? Hope to see you around the colony. Huh. Would you believe it? Now what? All right, now, Sid, I want you to exit the exit the. I want you to leave the colony. Just fast travel to any place outside of the colony, and then fast travel back. We need to reset the map real quick. Okay. Never mind. It's right there. Oh. Fuck. Okay. I'll just fast travel back. You see the little question mark on the map near Colony Four? Yeah. I right do. there. That's where it is. We're gonna get a visit from our robot friend again. That's scary. Yeah, right here. Just zooming in on Uni's ass, apparently. Whoa! Dead body! The Mandalorian is dead! Hey, are you okay, Mr. Pedro Pascal? <laughs> oh, the unit. All That's dead. his name, right? I think. Yeah, Pedro Pascal. Yeah. Oh. He's a great actor, by the way. He is. I'm trying to do an impression of him, but he really doesn't have he much doesn't really I can have an do. impression. I'll try and do oh. his Joel for the last time. Yeah, of I'm us. gonna try to do Joel. Ugh. Nope, that's bad. Hold on. The that's unit not happening. all dead. Gotta report to the captain. Shh, don't talk. Get him to the medic team. Hurry! Thank God he collapsed it's outside me. of the colony. It's me, the Severed Mandalorian. It's me, Joel from The Last of Us. It's me, Joel, Last of Us. It's me, Joel, <laughs> The Last of Us. I'm The Last of Us. <laughs> We're gonna get a doctor. Just hang tight, okay? That's not what he said. I, I was half paying attention. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you had the spirit, but that was not your line. I'm so I can't wait to see what it said when I rewatched this it and was... how much. 
Like, it was so confident. It was really close, but completely different phrasing. Okay. How are the bumps and bruises? But, Better mostly. But, but, oh, wait, you can wait. be Joel? <laughs> no, you try to be Joel. Better mostly. Thanks for saving me. It's not Joel, but I'm doing it. not Joel. What happened out there? You mentioned a unit. Uh, oh, well. It's fine. You can talk to them. No, oh, that's Maxi, actually. Oh, oopie. Maxi. <laughs> Oopsie. Thanks for watching out for him. <laughs> Seems like I'm do all I'm doing lately is getting bailed out by you lot. Yeah, loser. We just happened to be in the area. Pretty lucky. Captain Maxi, I... Take it easy, okay? I'll do the talking. Fighting with Agnes has kind of lost its meaning since Colony Force Flame Clock is broken. So we sent secret messengers all out, all over to tell other colonies the truth. So he's one of those messengers. Right, part of a covert team dispatched by the tactician squad. If everything went well, I was hoping we could establish a cooperative network between colonies. I mean, you probably could have gotten one with that Alexandria's colony. She's pretty close. Mm -hmm. And we severed her clock. I'm sorry, Captain. The unit is gone. What? But what happened? Was it monsters? N no, not monsters. Eleveness attacked us. From Agnes? Why did I say it like that? From Agnes? I don't know. How can you not know? It, it just showed up out of nowhere. Before we knew it, our escort was... I've never seen a Levinus like that before. See, I think this is really cool how they set up this place, because, uh, so the flip... The colony is from its colony zero, and it's not a part of Agnes or Keves. That's creepy. It, it was monstrous. What do you think of all this? As soon as they hit the unit, it should have been clear to them we don't have flame clocks. So there wasn't anything for them to gain. Despite that, they annihilated them. It doesn't make sense, but it did it knowing full well what our goal was. Which was to establish connections, right? So... You're saying the enemy's intention was to get, stop the information from getting out, to isolate Colony 4. Oh, were they set? Okay. Lemus had appeared out of nowhere, like no one, nothing anyone's ever seen. Hmm. No, it can't be. What's up, Noah? Maxie, do you know where the attack took place? Well? Was it the Wildwood? We met him at M Mama Rai's. They, they must have been lying in wait. There you have it. But you aren't actually going there, are you? I'm afraid we probably are. I have a hunch as to who the assailant might be. I mean, we're Ouroboros. I think we could probably take him. We can take him. Are, are you serious? I'm not sure yet. That's why I want to do some digging. This is col a Colony 4 matter. You have the final say. I'd be grateful if you would, actually. But I do have a condition. I get to go with you. Okay. Maxie's the hero. <laughs> now skin off our collective notes. <laughs> but is it a good idea for the captain to leave his post? I, lo I love you, Uni. <laughs> no, but I'm going anyway. <sighs> okay, then we should head off soon. It's personal. I get it. Yeah. Captain. Rest we'll take care easy. of this. Your job is to rest. 
Rest easy, Mandalorian. Understood. Luck be with you. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. You know that. That's huh? the their phrase. That's the Mandalorian phrase. That's that's like the Mandalorians like phrase. That's like their they that's that's what they say whenever they're like talking about the Kree. Oh okay. I don't know anything about show. the Mandalorian. It's a good show, like legit, super good. Oh, I just traveled to the Asia region. Forgot oh, yeah, that's also, an option. I forgot another reason I love Sigiri's quest is gives a lot of Senna relevance. Senna lore. I love Senna's contribution to Sigiri. It's so good. This is why I love the hero quest, because even if characters don't get a lot of story importance, even though I think everyone gets a decent amount, some obviously more than others. Uh -huh. Senna's easily the least important story-wise, but... Hero quests do a lot of fleshing out. This is where we met Grey, actually, wasn't it? I think so. It looks like Yeah, that. he was up here. And he was like, I'm the coolest, and we were like, yes. <laughs> Uni wasn't like that, remember? He fuck she fucking hated him. I know. I love it. <laughs> but hated. we were like, yes. We got Usherine. Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. This is the way. Mm -hmm. I'm so eepy. Eepy? It's because I woke up early. That's right. And didn't get enough sleep last night. Oh, well, that's a that's a skill issue. It is. It's because I was I had to I had to watch a movie. Oh, that's right, you were telling me. Wow, this is a long way. This is the way! <laughs> that looks like a Kingdom Hearts enemy. I think I said that exact same thing before, though. You sure did, actually. It looks like a Kingdom Hearts enemy! No, it does, and I know which one you're thinking of. Yeah. Oh my god, dead people! Oh wow, this is a lot of wrecked lovenesses. I also think Sagiri's design is so fucking cool. Well, that's a write-off. <laughs> we just got here, Lance. Well, everyone's dead. I mean, yeah, but like... Let's search the area. Maybe whoever did this left some clues. Well, that's a write-off. Oh, fuck! Look at those things. Those They're so cool. sick. Who, who the... Found him! No shit, Uni. I knew it, Len. This is like the one that attacked us in Machina Wildwood. I barely remember that, but I do. Maxi, are you ready to fight? Why else do you think I came? Ew, he came? Get some help. <laughs> shit, Sid, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, Let's... we get some help. Let's go, Maxi! Mysterious Raider. Oh, this is good against machines. That's good. Get it up. It's so 
done, Sted. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, this thing. Oh, that's the one. That's Sagiri in that one. Plan on leaving the party early, huh? Ooh. Purple. Oh, she has the purple one, remember? Oh, purple. What's in that? Like from Colony Omega? It's not over yet. Here it comes. Let's Phase go. two? Let me give you a Like it's in a berserker mode. It's already in no. desperation mode. I love its fucking dual axes. The purple, it looks so sick. I mean, robots are just inherently cool, but like, you know. Well, yeah, of course. Oh, he leaves? Oh, shit. That was weird. Where the spock is it, those cowards? Snuffy wall! Don't jerk us around! Get back here! Maxi. My men died because of me. Through my own lapse of judgment. I may as well have killed them myself. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a shame. Sid. I'm sorry, I'm mean to him. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> All the revenge in the world won't change them. Your anger is natural. You've lost friends. We can send them off for you, bud. We can send your team off. Oh, wow. Off Thank you, Mio. I completely <laughs> did not intend to. Could you, please? I think Maxie's gained a good redemption arc, you know? Well, let's send him off. I guess this is fate, too, huh? Kaya looks so cool in Kamarabi's wear. He does. Well, so much for unmasking the enemy. Well, that's a write-off. Yeah, so this is all just speculation, but... We're going around breaking flame clocks means that the war between us can stop. If that knowledge gets out, then we can end the war. And this attack- oh. And this attack is the work of someone who doesn't want that to happen. Is that your theory? Movies. Whether it's true or not, it looks like we have to stay on guard against more than Agnes and monsters now. We have to be more careful about who our friends and enemies are. We can't afford to be careless. We won't make the same mistake again twice, I promise you that. You okay, Maxie? Yep, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Thank you. Sorry, I'm going to get back to the colony. I have a lot of planning to do. Yeah, I bet. Better get yourself off home. Those lovenesses were clearly after you. Yeah. Don't die, okay? I'll try. They were, yeah. They clearly... Yay! That now last what? one especially had some anger. Now, this is a bit of a weird thing. We're going away from Colony 4 to the city. Okay. 
This is the last one we have to do, Sid. To the city! It's really weird. It's called Writer's Block. Where is it? I will tell you. One moment. Uh, but go to the city first for me. You need to unlock the quest by reading the info a novel book. Uh, you can find the two NPCs at Central, the area called Centurio Parade in the city. Okay. See if that's on the map. Well, no, I don't have it. Okay, let me see where that is. Okay, stay on the map for me, please. Okay. Real quick. Okay. Pretty please. Thank you. Uh, so Sid, it's going to be... Go to the down one. It's going to be next to the shops. In the Serene Square? Yeah. So go. To, it'll be... The, you see where all those shops are to the right? It'll be the, near there. So look around. Just look for an eye icon. No, Sid, it's the other way. You're going the wrong way. Well, here's... But first, you might as well grab that. More orders for the lost... Oh, wait, we don't have to read these. Just, you just stay there and listen. But yeah, it should be in this general area. Nope, it's going to be called a novel book. Sid, you just saw escape the camera. Yeah. Somewhere here. Gray! <laughs> oh, wait, Gray? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, yeah, I forgot they wander around. How you doing, bud? Hey, you're Gray, aren't you? Don't bother me right now. I'm on a mission. <laughs> okay. That's really cool. I forgot they wander around when you're not, they're not on your team. That's cool. But... There's one. Yeah, I think it's this. Yep, that's it. So see, we actually have to go buy something for the first time in this game. What? I think it might literally be the first time. No, we had to in the tutorial. Uh, is it by this trader pawn? It's the Well Well Emporium. Well Well's Emporium. So it should be there. Well well. Well well, well we well, 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 well. Always nice to see a new face. Oh wait. First, we have to buy we have to uh, li we have to talk about the oh. stuff at the rest spot real quick, and then we could go. Such a pleasant fragrance. Why does Ethel keep I'm spelling starving. things? Ethel, in? keep your nose in. We need to lay all this out. A novel. They're all the rage in the city. Some kind of book or something. I don't know. Do you not know what a fucking book is, you I guys? Yes, they don't know what books are. No, novels. They don't a, know what novels are. A book? A Can't book? be that good, then. <laughs> I get the feeling they're pretty different from the textbook. Oh, wait, okay. So they know what books are. Yeah. They just don't know what novels are. We used to have to read. Don't? Different how? I don't know the details. Are you curious, though, Mio? Just a little. Shall we read one of these novels and see what it's like? <laughs> yes. Let's see if we can find one to buy in the city. So now go to back to him. Well, Wells. This is very strange. For some reason, this is related. What's this got to do with giant robots? Apparently, I forget what it is. There is some relevance to it. It talks about Colony Zero oh, okay. a bit. 
There we go. Welcome to Shop of Wellwell. What Wellwell can do for friends? Damn, that was really good, Sid. Thank you. That's oh, you. wait, I thought that was Noah. We were wondering if you have any novels? Novels, of course! Or question borders on silly. What genre friends looking for? Sorry? Genre? genre? <laughs> Look, we have no idea, okay? What's popular in the city? We don't know what the fuck that means. You want popular novel? That easy! Current bestseller's latest volume of Founder's Tale. The Founder's Tale? That's the title of a novel, is it? Right on money! What friends care to buy? Let's try not to piddle our money away. There's only seven, it's only 700 gold. I think we have enough. I think we have enough. Thank you for patronage. Friends chose well to choose well well. So now we gotta head to a park and talk to the author of the book, Lean, once she once she finished. Her name is Lean? Lean, yes. Story of Founder's Tale is epic narrative of Ouroboros who is first founders of city. Oh, is it about Matthew? So it's a record that the founders themselves left behind. That right! That framing device of novel! Framing what? <laughs> So I think what they did is, is they know what textbooks are, but they don't know, like, stories. Yeah. Like, fake fiction, you know? Yeah. Wait, are you sure you can afford to sell something so important for such a low price? That's interesting take. Friends certainly have a lively sense of curiosity. Well, we'll do one better. Why not meet Miss Leanne, author of the novel, directly? We can meet the person. They decided to put her all into this one-off character. I put never my, gonna meet. my whole pussy in the well well. Cindy, what the <laughs> fuck did you just say? I'm putting my whole pussy into it. Don't ever say that word again. <laughs> this is a Christian <laughs> channel where we say fucking nice things. <laughs> I, if I tried to make it sound my, nicer, it would sound worse. Yeah, I get you. No, Sid, this is, it's a really good voice. It's just funny you put it all in. I know, I put it all note. in the well, well. It's hurting my throat. I should stop it. So I need <laughs> well well to hurry up this conversation. We can, okay. We can meet this person who actually wrote this book. Miss Leanne often goes to Constitutional and Vivid Park. She lady of lofty wisdoms. So well well certain she'll be able to satisfy friend's curiosity. Oh, thank God he's done. So, she, so she's gonna be sitting in a at the park. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you have an icon. Well, jump off the fucking cliff, please. <laughs> I forgot there's a fucking chasm. We are on top of the world, or at the bottom actually. We're at the bottom now. Because Shania decided to be a bitch and blow up their old home. Saturday, in the park. I think. It was the 4th of July. I hope I can repeat I love regular show. <laughs> what? Because of the park. I thought that was a song you were singing was from regular it's, show. I don't... Am I stupid? It might have been a regular show at some point. It's a Chicago song. Oh, you know, they, regular show references a lot of, like, pop culture songs, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they have a lot of songs in it. Excuse me, would you happen to be Leon? Top 10 anime battles, pop singing footloose. I would indeed. Can I help you? Well, well, we. we well, that's, uh, hold on, I had to reconfigure <laughs> that sentence. Well, well told us that you're the founder who wrote. You're the person who wrote the founder's tale. Goodness, to think that our generation of Ouroboros would take his interest in my humble scribbles. Basically, we don't really get this whole novel thing. Ah, uh, of course, of course. That's only natural. I believe there isn't much in the way of pointed storytelling outside the city, correct? Yes, I'd say so. Is it something like a diary? Um, well, you're not entirely wrong in that I'm trying to recreate in detail the lives of the founders. 
but it's different from a real diary because I've made most of it up. What do you mean, made it up? Well, to put it simply, it's all sort of lies. What? You just pulled it out of your ass! <laughs> of course, I do strive to be the best of my ability. <laughs> of course I did. To make sure it hews close to the truth. There are so few documents and materials left in the city from the Founders' times. I mean, it's really been that long since Matthew's- I mean, I guess it makes sense. So regardless, I would have to always have to read guesses and interpretations in my work to fill the gaps. That said, it's probably time to lay down my pen. What do you mean? You don't want to write anymore? Imagination has its limits. I find I've come to the end of the line. I just don't know where I'd take the story from here. But you're mega popular, aren't you? Doesn't everyone love your novels? They do, which is why I've been hoping for inspiration to strike. Though, you could say inspiration really has dropped from the heavens right in front of me. Pardon? This truly is serendipity. Would you mind helping me conquer my Rogers block? Block? Today's just a day for learning new concepts, <laughs> I suppose. According to the records, the six founders traveled throughout the new world looking for a new land. I've managed to pinpoint the exact locations they visited on the journey to help further my research. Unfortunately, I lack the robust constitution to be a soldier. Would you visit those places in my stead? What exactly do you want us to look for? Mm, let me see. <laughs> I know if you happen to upon anything that looks out of the ordinary there, you can bring it back. I'm trying to see if there's anything out there beyond the information we have in the records. What other location do you like us to look at? The distant fingertip in the Dana Desert and Fornus region would be a great start. Then a couple of places in Pentalis, the ruins of Cebu, and the old Cliffs Highway. Finally, a place in Cadenzia called the Eternal Canopy. That should be all. So you're asking us to go to all these places? Seriously? Get all your hardships out of the way while you're young. Once you get old, you can't do the fun stuff even if you want to. I can't hold anything much heavier than a pen these days. Curse this old body! We'll help you. And we'll report back if we find anything. Thank you. I'll be waiting to hear back from the you young folk. Nice Yay! Alright. Blop, right over here. The ruins of Cebu. Ruins of Cebu? The ruins of Cebu. See? Boo. Boo. See? Food. This is precarious. Kara, be careful not to fall off here. Queen's wing! <laughs> you say as you fall off? I say as I fall off. Queen's wing! <laughs> what did you say? I said Queen's wing! Better be careful not to fall off here. Are you so kidding me? <laughs> I can't say that anymore. Sydney, stop falling. <laughs> okay, I would just will say nothing. I hear coins and <laughs> boobies one more time. <laughs> fucking... It's not what she said. She I don't not... know what coins wings is. 
Her wings! I, I think that's a slur somehow. I don't know. Melly is wings! I know what it means, Cindy! <laughs> It's, I think it's like, good heavens! Yeah, I know. You clip through the floor. Good, good heavens! Finally! Oh, I'm so glad we found it! I got a shiny hexagonal chip. Sid, it's up there, please. Sid, if you fall off, I'm gonna fall I got- I you. got the thing already! Oh, okay, then fall off if you wish. Okay. That's separate. That's rousing Bullyaris, who I don't care about. I do care about him. I like him. But he's not important right now. Queen's wings! <laughs> Good heavens. Good heavens. Good heavens. Unicorn Overlord got a little manga and it's the cutest fucking thing That's ever. Up. Is it a. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's it's a real short one, but it's cute. Good heavens. I love it so much. Apparently they're debating on making a sequel, so I'm very excited about it's that. It's gonna be called Unicorn Underlord. Overlord 2! It's gonna be called Bicorn Underlord. Bicorn! Yo, like the fucking persona! Like the persona from five. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit dusty. <clears throat> While you do this collecting, I'm going to use the barf room. <laughs> you get a barf? No, the barf room. Understood. Keep collecting shit. I'm trying. <laughs> it's just so far away. Do 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 do. Look at La Lance has a weird run. Do 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 Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's a Pavarachno. So close. Am I so close? I mean, 500 meters away, but so close. Something so valuable here. You scared me, Tyon. Topographical info update. Yay! Glad we found it. Now where's the other one? Here we are, right over here. Oh, where is it? Oh, eh. Yeah, I'll do it. Gonna blast them into next week. Let's end this quickly.
It means there were no holes in my strategy. I'm reading another ethosphere. Oh yeah, I know. Should have enough to give Eno a boost now. Where is this leading me? The wrong this way. Was a nice find. Oh, I see. It is leading me the right way. That's okay. How you doing? I'm doing great. I think this is leading me the right way. Great. I'm going to ignore the Agnes soldiers that are right here. This better be leading me the right way. I seem to be getting farther from the... This seems to be leading me on a wild goose chase. Can you oh. fast travel the closest I fast traveled the closest I could. I Okay, I'm, I'm going the right way now. I had to circle around, yeah, I think. Yeah, most markers are usually pretty accurate, so... Yeah, I had to circle around. How many stuff have you collected? I've collected two things. Okay. This is the last quest we need before we get the hero quest, so that's good. You're level 15, don't even think about it. Don't even bother, buddy. You're gonna die. If you hear popping in the background, I'm heating he 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 up popped here. corn. Yummy! I love popcorn. Easily favorite snack. I went to Disneyland on Monday and they have very good popcorn there. Ooh, I bet they do. It, it's so good. It's like buttery, but it doesn't feel like fake buttery, like movie theater popcorn. It feels like light. Slaps. Mm -hmm. It slaps, but it's like greasy. This wasn't greasy, it was like light buttery. It was good. Uh, so do you have an Imagine Theater near you? An Imagine Theater? No, I don't. Damn, I do. It's so good. Do they have good popcorn? Looks like a pretty rare they just have everything. Everything you can imagine? Exactly. I feel like I'm going... Where are you leading me, Questline? Are you following the quest line? No, I'm not. He forces a fighting. Sydney! I'm following it! Oh, you were being sarcastic. I was being sarcastic. I said, where are you leading me, quest line? Whoa, check this place out. I've discovered so <laughs> many locations. Don't you sass me, Sydney Lewis. Tell me about the Imagine Theater. Uh, it's very good. They have food. And they have movies. Like a bunch of pubs. <laughs> is that what I think it is? This is our first time here, isn't it? Movies <laughs> allegedly. Why did that make me laugh? Do they have movies at the movie theater? They have movies. They, they also they have. They have drinks. No, no way. Do they have chairs? What? Do they have chairs? No, they force you to sit on the fucking floor. <laughs> no, you need to stand. It's standing room only. Oh, that would fucking suck. <laughs> Is Eating it worth for... the good popcorn? Absolutely. I mean, if the popcorn, like, makes me cum. 
<laughs> popcorn that makes you cum. It's so damn good, I better be fucking <laughs> losing my mind. Popcorn that makes you cum versus standing movie. Me watching Oppenheimer while standing. I think that'd be worth the price of admission. <laughs> <laughs> in a movie theater, eating popcorn, you just hear people, ugh. <laughs> it's a really quiet scene in the movie, and then you just hear, oh, oh. You just hear moaning. Moaning. Is this the fucking Metal Gear Solid ladder? Why is this taking so long? There we go. And you, I like how that's. I love that that's become a meme. It's so fucking funny. Oh, Where am I going? You're going the right way, clearly. Yeah, but what is this place? I'm going to get inspiration. Kamaravi would be quivering in fear right about now. Haha. -ha. <laughs> that's fun. This reminds me of a sky tower in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> a Sheikah tower, sorry. Sorry, sky tower is a Pokemon thing. That's the final dungeon in Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Sky Pillar oh, is the main. Such luck. Sky Pillar is the Emerald, right? Yeah. 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 Where the hell am I? Hey, you're clearly getting close. Calm I down. am, I just don't know what this is. It's cool. It's very cool. I want to know what it is. It reminds me a lot of more ordained structures. Like oh, a secret Ooh, area. Oh, a secret area. Oh, shit. Oh, for crying out loud. What are they doing here? Same for later. Here they come. How did they get up here? I don't know. This is weird. Ah, 48. A much better challenge. <laughs> We're the opponent. Our battle will be legendary. I just rewatched the entire Kung Fu Panda trilogy recently. What do you think? As if I know, as if I don't already know. I mean, I love one and two. Three is okay. Yeah, three is okay. One and two is great. I love Kai Lun and Shen as villains. Yeah, they're good. They're like insane good. I like, uh, oh fuck, what's his name? The third guy. Ugwe? No, the third villain. Oh, Kai? Yeah, I like him. I. The oh, yeah, third he's one, very good. You know. He's a very. His theme is really good, too. It's just an Imagine Dragons song. I know, but it's good. It's good, it's just very strange. I think the first one has the best. No, actually, I think one and two have both really good stories. I think the first one's still the best. I still need to see two. I mean, I've seen two, but I haven't seen it in a long time. I think two is really good for a personal story for Poe. I like Shen being a really big, important ordeal for him to overcome. Shen is... I think Tai Lon is still my favorite villain, though. Yeah, he's good. Our battle will be legendary! Also, the, the fight choreography in one is so damn good. Yeah. I better have a boat. You will. <laughs> Movie theater popcorn. You hear me, Munson? Eddie Munson? What? I said, you hear me munching? I do hear you munching. <laughs> Eddie Munson? 
No, did not even close. <laughs> I think that one was supposed to be the last one. Yeah, I think so too. Unfortunately, I did it out of order because I'm kind of a rule breaker. It's fine. Excuse me. I said, I actually never knew this. I was reading TV tropes the other day yeah. for Xenoblade 3. A lot of the game's soundtrack is, like, combined themes for both 1 and 2 field themes. That's awesome. I know! It's so cool. They, like, I know it makes sense because the worlds are few, so, like, areas, but, like, it's so cool how they did that. Or, yeah. like, they make two, they meld the two themes. That is very cool. Another step forward? Don't even try it, folks. That container. That container. Does it look like we can get to it from here? I like how all these guys are supposed to be attacking you, but we're too strong. They don't even want to try. Exactly. That's cool. I like that in Xenoblade. I do too. Because in other RPGs, you get wild battles. Like, you're like 50 levels lower oh, than me. I think we might have another fight. Yeah. Oh! Here as well. Are they targeting us? Perhaps. Who cares? Let's take him down. They might be protecting the items. Possibly. I'll draw the I wonder why. I don't you know. said I told you this. I told you this quest had a relevance. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking amazing. Ethel, you're fucking amazing. It really sounds like she's saying fucking. That's the best part of these things. Samurai's class is one of my favorites to play. He's cool. Alright, that's one. Noah has lucky seven now. It's over. It's, it's over. You see, this is yep. our path to the future. This would be our target. Ah, oh, I'm so glad we found it. One left, right? I think so. One or two. I think it's one. Where are you going? Going to the item. Well, I didn't see a blue marker there. It was. Oh. You I'm needed. Blind. You just weren't looking. I was looking. I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> You're too busy eating your eating your popcorn. That doesn't prevent me from seeing. It's right in front of my eyes. Yeah. Well, this now I see it. Mind. All right, that's all of them. Here they are. I think this might be more than just a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> you think, Lance? Do you think they're after the same thing we are? Heh, if that's true, then I guess we're good. 
we're on to something pretty good. Or maybe they're just really tracking us now. I think they maybe, I don't know. They don't really they're not really one for conversation, so. No. Hey guys! How you how you robots doing? Tell me about you, Jay. <laughs> Are those new axes? No way. That's awesome. You have my Nice. Nicely done, Zed. I think this that's it. Now we get back so to the city. Now we just got a little cutscene, and then we get access to our hero quest. Oh, there might be something right here. No, I think that's her. The hero quest isn't super long. It's it's normal hero quest length. Yeah. Yeah. This is such a long quest. Ugh. Well, it's multiple quests, so. Yeah. It's the last hero. I like they make you work for it. He's fine. Walk it off. Once again, I'm glad this isn't every hero quest. You're back. Did you find anything? What are we picking here? Everything. Yay! We haven't had to do one of those in a while. Hmm, let me see. Uh, all we found was this junk. Sorry we couldn't get anything better. Not at all, not at all. This is wonderful. It's a better result than I could have hoped for. I'm not doing your voice anymore. <laughs> Really? Well, I don't see anything here that even has the slightest connection to the Founders. No, you're right. None of this is related to the Founders. Ugh, are you joking? But these things don't exist in any of our records. They're completely unknown. They might not be associated with the Founders, but they have more worth than that alone. This has got to be a wind-up. It's just a bunch of rubbish! Are you people ever since the attack were looking for these? Senna! I didn't think Senna, I didn't think Senna would be talking. <laughs> oh, it looks like you've had a, quite an adventure. Now you've really piqued my interest. Just what are these? It's hard to imagine they come from our time, or even the Founder's time. Could they be even older? Yes! It's coming to me! What's coming? My inspiration! Ah, it's all rushing back to me. The old gray matter hasn't failed me yet. You saved my work. Thank you. You, you sure this is fine? Of course. Now I'm sorry, but I must go. Go do it. I want to put pen to paper while these ideas are still fresh. I He's like me. Whenever I think of an idea, I get right away to it. Wait. Can we ask you one more question? What is it? Why did you decide to write about the Founders in the first place? Oh, it's a good question. Have you ever wondered about where you came from? 
What do you mean? This is just my own theory. That's just a theory. I, but I think one of the most important things in life is knowing your origins. That's what I want the people of the city to know. Or rather, to remember. Where we all came from, and where we're going. Do you see? Anyway, I really must go now. I hope you enjoy the next book in the series. With that, we are all ready to do Saigiri's Hero Quest. Let us go to Colony Omega. Let's do it. Uh, you remember where that is, right? It's in the... Remind me. Snowy area. Snowy area. Asia yeah, region? Etier Upper. Upper. So it's the upper one. There you go. Colony Omega. It's one down there. Yeah, see the quest marker? Yeah, I do. That's where we're heading. Don't go to the camp, just go to the colony. Is this the colony? No, it's the camp that's like a bit away. Oh, apologies. It's fine. I apologize. Ooh, we don't level up while we're here. Oh, good idea. Might as well. I interacted. Stand on the fire. The people have to make so much noise. The people have to make so much noise. Yay! Nice. I definitely feel stronger. Ah, uh, you should. All right. Let's bounce. Let's bounce. Heading towards the question mark. I'm heading. That's the wrong way, Sid. You have to go up. Oh, upsies? Toward the colony first. Let's go here. Yeah, just go there. There we go. Go! Perfect. It's for the cave, you see? Yeah, I do. That's... I'm gonna ignore these Oops, guys. They found us. The Dewblades! The Pokemon! Like the poke? Yeah. <laughs> Dead body. Whoa. Dead body. Oh my god. Let's see them off. We can't leave it. Might like as this. well. Since we're here. Hey, guess what? You're never gonna guess it. Robots. No freaking way, dude. Way. What's this now? Yes! Oh, voice. it's voice! Fucking go. Seriously, more of those mothers come to ruin our day again. Let's ruin theirs first. <laughs> da -da -da -da. A formidable opponent. 52. Now that's really something. There we go. 52. Ooh. I need you, Mia. 
Find you into the dust. Ion's Ouroboros form is so cool. Yeah. I think his is my favorite, personally, design-wise. I like Noah and Mio's, but his is also very good. Uh-huh. They're all really cool. Yeah. I love when you finish a battle and you just kind of stand there for a few seconds. Let the music finish, yeah. Yeah. Ha! Mio going in! Ooh! God, I love these cutscenes. Oh. Uh oh. They stopped them? They're coming! A tactical retreat? Damn. Land! Yeah! I got it! Block it? Yeah, that's my Set boy. Up. Hit him where it hurts, will ya? Ah! Ooh, Ooh for shit. Real. <laughs> nice hit, Senna. Poor girl. What the There's heck? a person in there. What's going on here? It's like a, it's a Makanis or a mech Machina. A lance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why is she wearing Tracer's pants? Who is this guy? That's a great question. Where did she come from? For a soldier, she's awfully, um. She's so small. Yeah, I know what you mean. She's like two feet tall. She's about three terms old. Way too young to be fighting on the she's front lines. She's three terms? That's like... She's like 12. Not to derail 13, the convo, 13. but are we sure she'll be okay? Uh, we pulled her out of the lev, but is there anything else we can do? Let's just leave her. We could heal her. We have two injury, healers. But no signs of waking up either. Hard to tell either way. Hmm. It wasn't your fault, Sonny. You didn't know. She's still alive. <laughs> I'm sure she'll pull through. Mimi, you sure? Aww. Look, we can talk about her all day, or we can find her a doctor. I know which one I'd prefer. Yeah, let's find her a doctor. All right, but she and her people did assault colony soldiers, so taking her to a colony seems like What about the trouble. city? Then how about the city? Oh, they yeah. Have facilities there. Indeed. Seems advisable. <laughs> what do we do about the Lebnis? Let's leave, leave it, it for now. Yeah. Yeah. The girl should take priority. Um, I can carry her. Thanks, yeah, you're Anna. strong. She'll be in good hands. Yeah, Literally. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> Inhumanity. Yay. To the city! What? It's all coming together. Oh yeah, baby, it's all coming together. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. Oh, yeah. I oh, love yeah. it. For it's all coming together. That's another great movie. I need to rewatch it. Shout out to Kronk. I love Emperor's New Groove so much. It's so funny. It's a good movie. Like, it's a, just a funny movie. Oh. So, do you know what's one movie I've never seen? What? But it's like a masterpiece that I, I know people say a bunch about. Why the is Prince of Egypt. There, I, I've seen it, but it was like when I was four. 
I've never seen it. I need to see it at some point because I know it's amazing. I've heard so many good things about it. I'm gonna skip whatever the fuck this is. I think you accidentally ran into a quest. Didn't you? I'm just sorry. Sorry about. Oh, she's getting healed. And you could just skip the cutscene, you know. Can you not press plus? No, it wasn't a cutscene. We have some new names. Oh, just... okay. Anyway, she's fucking dead, so she's gonna die. <laughs> That's anyway. sad. Anyway. Rip Bozo. Rip Bozo. She's like seven. I just... Oh, fuck. I don't care. You keep running, accidentally running into cut. <laughs> oh, hey, Monica. Oh, hey. <laughs> Literally. Please, shut up. I only care about one of your people, and she needs to get healed. I'm not gathering this. Sorry about your We're stomach, not doing girly. This. We have some new names. Or Sorry about your tummy anyway. ache. Oh, me hurt. Full list. Doctor! Doctor! Oh, it's you! What? What's a good you in such a flurry? Here, let me tell you. Mm. Well, it seems she simply temporarily lost consciousness as a result of the blow to the head. Oh, so does that mean she'll be okay? Yes, it's a passing symptom. With a bit of rest, she should come awake naturally. <coughs> oh, that's a relief. Until she does, I'd like to keep her here for observation. Uh, wait, that's not really necessary. Seems like there might be a reason for your reluctance, hmm? No, it's just that she's, um, er... Uh... Oh dear. There's an empty house tucked away in the corner of the city. I'll send word to let you use it. Oh. Talk to her. The patient will be transferred there. The rest is up to you. Hmm. I hope you'll find this agreeable. Uh, yes, thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Uh, more than usual, I mean. <laughs> True. If anything happens, you know where to find me. We'll take care now. Alice, you're a good boy. Thanks. So He's a doctor. True. I would hope most doctors, your doctors are most nice. Most doctors are nice. Yeah, actually, I've never met a mean doctor, so, like, I guess that kind of makes sense. Kind of comes with the territory. Doctor you House! Someone, you can't have someone saving lives, and then they're fucking like, oh, fuck you. Tabs <laughs> you with a scalpel. Doctor House. Doctor House. Ah, you're here. Oh, thank God. About the girl we transferred here. She's just woken up. This is Lance's oh, voice cool. actor. <laughs> that sure is. Whoa, really? Yeah. Although, I should say, she's a little, um... That is Lance's voice actor. <laughs> Were there any complications? No, nothing like that. Or at least, nothing to complain to you about. You're not making sense. It's, it's just he's less rough. Yeah, he's just not angry. The doctor said she didn't need any medical attention, and... You know what? Why don't you just talk to her yourselves? Just bear in mind, she's still a patient, so take it easy on her, eh? She just shoots right, a Lance. gun at us. Seems I mean, we don't- we barely know anything about her. <laughs> yeah, it ain't like we can just leave her here forever. Let's talk to her first, like he said. We should try to learn more. All right, but she's recently injured. We probably shouldn't all crowd her. Maybe you are too. If we're just asking questions, one person should be enough. Maybe the person obviously aligned with this quest. Like <laughs> so, so who'll go? Surely it's Uni, right? She deals with injured people all the time. And she should be As opposed right to Tyon, who also does that? You love injured people, Uni. Oh, yeah. Cheers for volunteering me. 
I'll go. I'll go. I punch her in the face. You, Senna. The max are with the hammer, Why actually. The so. Well, it's probably my <laughs> fault she's like this. That's also true. It was really more like an accident, <laughs> It's all your though. fault, Senna. There's no need for you to feel responsible. <laughs> it's the lands. It's not that exactly. Never. It's more like... <laughs> If I don't do something, um, I... I'll have a dirty con... a con... A con science. Yeah. Conscience? You've never heard that word out loud, have you? <laughs> oh. Con science. That was really that well right delivered by a tie You've never heard of that, that word, have you? Lived, you never... <laughs> it's good. We've never heard it's that really I loved, have you? Yeah, I'll be fine. No, I know. It's like you read it all the time, but you never Do say be careful, it. Though. She might be meek now, but keep in mind, she and her mates came after us. That's true. We'll be right outside. If anything happens, just shout. Ah! Help! She's I can handle me. myself, Mimi. But thanks. I will. She's stabbing me in the jugular! <laughs> Oh god! No, that wasn't a winner. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. You didn't say okay, anything. Then. I I, so. was, I giggled. I giggled. I didn't hear the giggle. <laughs> I didn't hear no giggling. I You're was, lying. I was giggling. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hello. Oh no, she's a clown. Hmm. It's not a clown. <laughs> Uh, um, hi. I, I see you've woken up. Hmm. Hmm? How are you feeling? Any pain? Can confirm faint sensation of pain in cranial region. However, operational efficiency of number seven remains unaffected. She's a robot. Oh, she talks like what? a robot. Okay. Uh, uh okay. She's That's like, I guess. Okay. Good. I love I guess. Actually, I um I forgot like I completely apologize. forgot that's how she talked, I'll be honest. Hmm. <laughs> Before, I didn't realize you were inside that thing and <laughs> hmm. Um Are you okay? No major issues detected. I I see. Uh anyway, if it's all right with you, could you tell me something about yourself? The question lacks specificity. <laughs> Number seven cannot respond. Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I guess that was a bit wishy-washy, <laughs> huh? Well, for starters, then. Are you a Cavesi soldier or are you Agnian? Cavus, Agnes. Yeah, that's right. You must know those, right? Affirmative. However, discrepancy was encountered while processing query. Discrepancy? Huh? What do you mean? Affiliation of number seven does not match either of two options provided. Doesn't match? Well, then that only leaves... Special Mobile Combat Unit under Direct Mobius oh. Command, alias Colony Zero. Whoa, you know about Mobius? Affirmative. Then, when you attacked us... Colony Zero soldiers of numbers 7 and below were tasked with eradication of Ouroboros. Whoa, that's... not great. <laughs> so this girl really is Ooh. our enemy. I have to warn the others. I mean, she's right here. She's not She's armed. thinking it. Although, is that really true? She's, she doesn't have a weapon. Us, so... Why is she like this now? Because she's not in a mech? Yeah, she <laughs> she just punches Senna in the face. Um, I thought she could do anything. Me, it sounded really important. Won't you get in trouble for saying it? I was not ordered to silence on the matter. <laughs> okay. I, I see. Convenient. Okay. That is convenient. Oh, this is a very shoot, interesting hero quest. Myself. You'll see. It's really cool. My name is Senna. What's yours? I have no name. Huh? Number seven does not possess information under the category name. I mean, number seven is technically a name. You don't have a name? 
Wait. So this number seven thing you've been saying all along? An individual identification number assigned to soldiers of Colony Zero. We do not belong to Kevis or Agnes. We are special assets. Publicly, uh -huh. we do not exist. Consequently, records of personal information stored in growth modules are also expunged wow. at the time of birth. Expunged. That's so they just crazy. don't have any memories or anything? Weird. Shall I consider the questioning to be over? Well, not memories, they're just expunged no, from like any like said, free will is what it's saying. It's strange? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Requesting additional clarification. I, I mean, for example, that name thing. A colony that calls people by a number. Well, that's, that's so why the quest is called inhumanity. Okay. That makes Don't you sense. feel bad to be called like that? I mean, you're the same as us, after all. Cannot ascertain purpose of question. <sighs> oh. Aww. Oh, don't cry. Requesting clarification. <sighs> She's taking this really personally, I wonder. Hmm. Why are you crying, Senna? Senna? Hey, you okay? Did you learn anything? <laughs> Hang on, love. You don't look so good. What happened, Senna? <laughs> what did she say to you? Mimi, I... I, I don't know what to do. Aw, oh, Senna. Hey, Senna. Everything's fine. Let's go somewhere we can talk. I That's don't think right. we should leave her here. Yeah, sure. She'll be fine. She'll probably just sit there nicely. That's true. She has been doing that, so. Oh, okay. Let's gotcha. discuss. I just think this it's such a different vibe to most other colonies. It's interesting. Oh, I'm getting so yippy. We're almost done, Sid. We're, yeah, we're almost done. Also, I think we did we didn't do it last week. We're almost. We can do. We're Everyone almost done with the quest. We can't just. Yeah, we got. No, well, finish. yeah, we gotta finish the quest. I just wanted to confirm. Oh, Gondor's grumblings. That's Senna's hero quest. We'll do that another time. But okay. Colony Zero. Wow. They did seem like more than regular soldiers, but that's wild. That's wild. If they're palling around with Mobius, we can't really ignore them, I suppose. We still have very little information. I think a more thorough investigation is in order. Okay, but we're talking about a tiny third termer here. <sighs> Senna, what do you think? Huh? What? Where do I think about what? Senna, what do you mean? <laughs> You're the one that spoke with her. What's your gut telling you? <laughs> I just... I just asked questions, and she just answered them. That's usually what happens, yes. But even though she attacked us, she doesn't seem hostile or violent. Mm -hmm. And when I spoke to her, she was literally just answering questions. It didn't feel like a conversation at all. Oh, I see what she was saying. Okay. She looks like us, but is actually a whole different kind of being. That's how I felt. Oh, that's why she and was crying? She was scared? And... That's the whole... <sighs> I'm sorry, Senna. Sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have sent the least self-confident person in the group. Do you think she's yeah. I don't really know yet. That's kind of why I... That's not an insult to Senna. I'm just saying facts. I'd like to try talking to her again, I think. What do you mean? You just said you were scared of her. I am. It's true, but... I want to make sure I got the right idea, and that's stronger than my fear. Good on you. Not just about if she's an enemy, but also about who she actually is, how she thinks and feels. Uh, I get it. You need a bit more time for that, sure. Right. I also want to say sorry for leaving without saying anything <laughs> last time. I don't think she understands okay, crying then, If you don't understand yeah. it and apologizing at once, <laughs> how about a little gift to grease the wheels? Oh, <laughs> Sana, you could bring her your Giri. The these grease, voice actors so the much. The wheels. Onigiri. 
It's a portable Agnian snack made of packed boiled mithrice. Oh, I'm hungry. They're lovely and salty, especially the way oh, rice makes balls. Them. You mean jelly filled really donuts? Don't jelly filled donuts? These huh? donuts are great. Chill. Those are my favorite. Oh, of course I can. <laughs> On a Gary, at least. <laughs> oh, wait. But we don't have any mithrice. Mithra? They decent reserves in Mithrice? <laughs> hey, nice. No, hang on. How'd you know that off the top of your head? <laughs> Commander Izzard likes them. The Onigiri. Oh. Well, Izzard mentioned. Izzard mentioned. Like yeah, Izzard. Thanks, you guys. Let's <sighs> go get some jelly donuts. No jelly filled donuts. I love that scene. I know it's memed so much, but it's just so funny how they have to constantly emphasize it's a jelly donut. Boy, I sure love jelly-filled donuts. This is totally what they what look so... like. I just don't understand why four kids hated rice balls. I don't know. So... It truly is inconceivable. <laughs> what, what's their beef with rice balls? Is it because it's like a different culture, even though it's like... It's like, ah, oh, kids don't won't understand a ball of rice. Like, even if it is cold, it's not like it's an offensive culture. It's not, and it also, it's food. not, it's not like it's hard to understand, it's a ball of rice. It's a food. Boy, I sure love jelly. It's the fact that they didn't even change... The... They could have just animated it and made it a jelly donut. They didn't even. They just were just like, trust us. This is totally a jelly donut. You want Mithrace? Sure, I don't mind. Feel free to grab some if you like. We're close to the water here, so harvest is always good quality. Thank you, dude. Huh, I never knew. If you ever need more, just holla at your boy. He said that. Now we only need a place to cook. They taste best when they're fresh, so maybe we can use the canteen in the city? Can do. Then that's why, or, or that's where she gets the name Saigiri Onigiri. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So I was like, well, I don't want to call you number seven. Let's, uh... Let's call you... Onigiri. Rice. Rice. Number seven. Saigiri. <laughs> Number seven. Saigiri. Be sure not to give your robots too much rice, or else it will clog the system. Or else it will kill you with giant axes. Or <laughs> else you will be eaten by hammers. What? <laughs> eaten by hammers? <laughs> What? What do you mean? Oh, I order food, not... No. What? Yes, Sid, you're not in a restaurant. I need to make the food. The I hot is. eat the food. I eat those foods. <laughs> Why is it called, uh, oven when you... of out hot eat the food? <laughs> hot, well, cold out hot eat the food. <laughs> Man, I haven't made onigiri in a minute. I hope I can still shape them, right? I could call this episode so many different things. Ah, uh, eat the food. Uh, that's nice. Boobs! No. <laughs> Let's take them to our patients. They look like boobs! Shit, <laughs> three boobs? <laughs> yeah, three of them. Three kitties. Three. That's, that's a malformation. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, it's a, someone's got problems. I'm sure a three-boobed person has existed. Probably. Well, at least... Sometime. I mean, that's half. People have had two heads. It's not the weirdest thing. Yeah, three boobs. That's fine. No, wait, I think it has happened because, you know, conjoined twins. That's technically three boobs. I, that's true. Gosh, I, that's... I always feel bad for them, but it's always so interesting that how that even happens. Google, like, search three boobs. <laughs> no, I do not want to do that. I know it exists, Sid. Just imagine it. Yeah, it's not hard. You can tell I'm getting very tired because I'm starting to not make sense. No, that that makes good content. 
This time around, we'd like to sit in on the conversation, too. Huh? But I thought... No worries. We'll hang back and watch. We're happy to let you do the talking. Uh, uh okay then. Just, just lean against so. the door. <laughs> Hello. Hey, sorry to intrude. Can we have a moment? No objections. You wish to resume questioning? No. I wonder who's Sagiri's voice here. guy. It's just the last know. time. It's a really. I was it's a good job with like making it robotic, but still, you know. So yeah. to apologize, I thought I'd visit again and bring you a little something. Three boobs. <laughs> Oh, she liked I figured it. you might be hungry. They're called onigiri. Bridget my Connellia. Yes. I don't know who that is. Let I'm not see. very good at this, so they're about the only. Oh, man. she's only onigiri. Wow. Dang. The game yes. continues to have new voice actors. I love it. But I can guarantee they're tasty, and actually, Mimi says so too. Uh, Mimi, I, I mean Mio. She's. <laughs> yes. 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 Hungry. Oh, sorry. My bad. Please, feel free to eat. She's hungry. Okay, I didn't know I she could eat. get hungry. I will eat. I will eat. Num 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 num. How about it then? <laughs> Cannot appertain purpose of question. <laughs> Are they tasty? She's adorable. I, I right? like her. With regard to first question, number seven, comforter, tasty to be accurate. Assessment. <laughs> She's oh, adorable. Really? I love her. That's good to hear. In regard to second, application of manual pressure resulted in compaction and higher cohesion, also showing excess salt levels. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Uh, no, wait, that's the best part. Isn't it nice and chewy? Ooh. Affirmative. <laughs> huh? Number seven has not taken sustenance in this form before. Oh. What? Currently considering that others of Colony Zero may also enjoy Aww. the experience. Aww. Oh. You think so? What do you eat? Like ether? Particularly number nine. Maybe. Seem to be growing Honestly, wait, yeah, that might be it actually. And number three, whose calorie intake exceeds the baseline, may find these more sating. Number As three. A precaution, Salt levels may have to be marginally adjusted, pursuant to guidance from number six. She has a lot ah. of friends. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, but if it's okay with you, could I ask you to tell me more? Acknowledged. Continuing explanation. <laughs> Yay. Bonding over so, food. Were the onigiri tasty? You already have a sufficient reply to this question. It's true. <laughs> have you I am not to talking like anymore. The I made? Affirmative. Well, that's good then. I'll make them for you again sometime. Yes. Aww. Well, she eats like normal, and she can handle small talk. Kinda. Yeah, Kinda. There's nothing suspicious about her. Except she talks funny, but whatever. <laughs> Let's just Santa keep her talking for a bit longer. God, Uni's voice actor is on her hey, A game in this one. You said you didn't have a name. <laughs> Recollection of making. I mean, such she's a on her A game exists. in general. I'll be real. Well, then, what about Sagiri? It's seven and Onigiri. Get it? That makes sense. Hmm. She likes it. Uh, Perhaps this is some sort of code or cipher. No, I'm just. I was asking what you thought about Sagiri for a name. Cannot follow logic behind query. Requesting more rational explanation. You're using difficult words again. I, I just didn't want to keep <laughs> only calling you you. The designation number seven is. Right. I, I just took the set. Part from seven <laughs> and tacked on the giri from onigiri sagiri failure to comprehend basis for utilizing this nomenclature 
I don't know what that word means. Name. You said you liked onigiri. It does? <laughs> yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Senna. Don't you think you're taking it a bit We gotta oh. name her, Lance. Yeah, love. Did you lose your brain at the gym or something? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, Senna. I don't think I see what you're after here. You're naming her? That's crazy. Whoa, when did everyone get so mean? I think it's a crazy <laughs> exactly. Onigiri. You... Yeah, I think so too. Noah, actually. come on! It seems really, um, friendly somehow. Mimi, come on, girl. <laughs> it's not really like you to come out with something like this, Senna. Okay, at least she's supportive. R really? Well, maybe so. But Mimi, Noah was, but he was clearly faltering. Yeah. By a number. Hmm. No, I get it. It's dehumanizing. Hey. I'm sorry. I let my mouth run away from me. I understand if you felt hurt by it. Regulations contain no special provisions on restricting designation. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Number seven has no authority based on which to reject proposed designations, whatever they may be. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Does that mean we can call you Sigiri and you won't mind? Affirmative. Well, there you have it then. Affirmative. <laughs> Yuri, Affirmative. Come on. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's robo racing. The girl might still be a total mystery. But really, it wouldn't have been right to call her number seven. Okay. Oh. Now we talk to her. We're all about done with it soon. What happened? Yeah. See? A coded transmission from Colony Zero. Uh-oh. The Mobius Console F is requesting parlay with Ouroboros. Uh, oh. The Mobius is requesting what? Parley? Number seven that's not, will that's use problem. own iris as relay to forward the transmission to Don't you. Don't put him on speaker! <laughs> Well, I guess I kind of have to. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Snail man. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my young Ouroboros friends. I am F, and before we go further, I would like to sincerely apologize for the discourtesy of this method of introduction. Ugh, what a shameless slug. He thinks we'll forget <laughs> to get it because he's wearing a shell. That's funny. <laughs> you say you want to parley. How do you imagine that will go at this point? I'm certain you will feel guarded, and rightly so. And yet, with that acknowledged, I would like to offer an opening of negotiations with you. Negotiations? What could you have to offer us, Should dude? you accept my invitation, I will rescind the um, extermination order on you, Ouroboros. Oh. That's pretty good. Colony That's pretty Zero will henceforth <laughs> no longer concern itself with your comings and goings. Oh, that'd be swell! If we were stupid enough to trust your word. That's... And your yeah, demands? that's fair. The bodily return of number seven. Huh? And that's it. That's all it would take for you to never fight with us again. Yes, you have my guarantee. And that of the whole of Colony Zero. Mm. Are you joking? You're Mobius. You'd throw away one or two soldiers without batting an eye. Certainly some consuls do display such callousness, a deplorable state of affairs. Mm. But not I. I hold the light of life possessed by Colony Zero to be of the utmost importance. Naturally, that includes number seven. That is precisely why I have reached out to you, nominally my enemies, even with the concomitant difficulties acknowledged. Are you telling the truth? Come on, Senna, don't fall for it. Can you give us a guarantee that you aren't lying to us right now? Like, prove it. Of course, is what I'd love to say, but naturally, simple words are never enough to engender trust. I know. 
I have sent the current coordinates of Colony Zero to number seven. We shall remain here. Should you find yourselves receptive to my offer, do please pay us a visit and bring number seven with you. I mean, do we have really have a choice either way? Will make us trust no. you. How do we know this isn't a trap? In such a circumstance, you would possess a handy hostage in number seven. Oh, that's true. I trust I needn't say more. That's true. Ugh. Has this guy heard the way he sounds? <laughs> of course, that is not what any of us really want. My desire is to see number seven safely return to me. That is all. Number seven? Yes? I am tasking you with guiding them to Colony Zero. Follow their command until you return. Compliance. And number seven? Yes. We've all been worried about you. I like Consul F. I think hmm. he slays. It that sounded all, genuine. It did. I eagerly anticipate the day when we meet in more favorable circumstances. By the Consul's authority, Number 7 is hereby assigned to the Ouroboros' command as an exceptional measure for the duration. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Well, this was... unexpected. And by unexpected, I mean completely expected! <laughs> Scary. What do we do with you? Well, we well, gotta go! Oh, we have to talk to her. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Oh. Let's give Sigiori the order. Alright. Wait, are you serious? You really <laughs> trust that console? Of course I don't. Not entirely. I know it could be a trap as well, but still. If... And this is a big if, okay? If he was telling the truth earlier, then we won't have to fight with Sagiri and her friends. And more importantly, I'm sure there are people waiting for her there. So, for all those reasons, I thought... Well, either way, things can't stay like this forever. Rather than make speculation after speculation and do nothing, you want to set something in motion. Agreed. Yeah. It's also possible, if unlikely, that we might be able to talk it through. All right. Can you tell I mean, us where Colony Zero Mobius is right now? Uh-huh. Atia region. Capricorn Peak. Huh? Wait, isn't that... That's where we fought against those guys, ain't it? The point where Colony Zero is stationed is located even further in. Yeah, it's Explain inside the cave itself. Wait for us there. Makes sense. However, the geographical feature called the Nauclea Mire is located en route. Entering it is predicted to have severe negative impact on your biological processes. It'll make you shit. Oh. Then how do you guys get through? Don't say that it means A dangerous. environmental hazard resistance can temporarily neutralize poisonous materials. What's a pharon? Oh. Oh, it's like a short, short for honest. Affirmative. Consequently, traversal through the afflicted area will necessitate retrieval and refurbishing of the abandoned Pharon suit. We can ask Riku to fix it up. Will that be okay with you? No objections. Oh, if Riku, Riku must, is... we'll not leave friends in lurch. All right then. Just be patient for us a little while longer, okay, Sigiri? Compliance. Compliance. All right. We're nearing the end. I don't keep saying that, but we, we are. We're nearing the end. Compliance. I'm glad we're doing all this in one episode, so yeah. we don't have to. It'd be annoying if we split it into two. Yeah. Compliance. So at least it at least it's a good quest. Yeah. In my opinion, at least. 
This quest sucks. <laughs> this game stinks. This game stinks. You wanna do it again? Me when I keep falling off. <laughs> Kamaravi would be quivering in fear right about now. Sorry, fair on. Glad they left it for us. <laughs> How does it look, Riku? <laughs> Can you get it in working order? Destroyed. Thanks for. It looked like problem. <laughs> Looks like shit. Met. Riku have it working in no time flat. At a boy. And ready. Riku proud of own handiwork. And how does it look to you? Can you still use it? Power lines clear. All sensors online. They're in unit number seven, fully operational. Ah. That sounds good. Are you ready to guide us? <laughs> Yay! Understood. Designating route. Yay! So you could talk in that thing, you just chose not to. Yay! We can yes, traverse you get a new fields. Field. Now you're completely immune to hazards, Sid, on the field. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Now I'm epic. Poison? More like jacuzzi. Poison? More like nothing. Not to worry, just stick to the plan. Ooh, they're climbing up, Sid. What, the enemy levels? Oh wait, also I didn't notice that Yuri's on your team now. That makes sense. Yeah, she is. <laughs> You get a fucking robot giant mech as our hero. I love it. I'm just running straight on through. And you're gonna die. Nope. I'm not. I'll deal with you at once. Oh my god, you're, you're making it. <laughs> Holy shit, you made it, Sid? What the fuck? I made it. You're That's so the power of running. Well, Hello, F. I've been hoping you would come. We've brought your soldier as you asked. So what now? Hmm. Number seven seems uninjured. Thank you for this magnanimous measure. As promised, Colony Zero's order to eradicate Ouroboros Just like will that? be rescinded. Thank you. You have my word that we will never again darken your doorsteps, figuratively speaking. We don't got doors. We don't got a home. We don't have houses, cheap, man. Oh, I assure you, the soldiers of Colony Zero are most faithful. They would never disobey any. I don't know, orders. I feel like there's some screen attached to this. What's more, yeah. I personally have nothing but the deepest respect for you all. After Fact. all, you did tend to my dear number seven and brought her back to me unscathed. I mean, we did kind of injure I her in the first place. Dear, heartfelt thanks. Yeah, all right. All right, let's go. This doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. Oh, I've just had the greatest idea. Number seven, you and our guests have traveled long and far to arrive here. Why don't we introduce them to the rest of the colony's oh. personnel? Well, they're gonna attack it's us. So... Compliance. This is so weird. Uh, I think we're actually fine. <laughs> no, it's like, um, no, thank you. We're good. I think we better be heading off now. We need to tie a bond of trust between us, and where better to start than with a round of introductions? Sagiri, are you alright with that? The consul's word is absolute. Number seven does not have the prerogative Aww. choice. Aww. Number seven, show your face to everyone. I'm sure they'd like that. Your face? Your Number face! Number four has also been worried about you. Four. Yes. Number four? <laughs> Number four is number seven's right-hand man. Oh. With number seven absent. He had to take over the reins instead. He means like being an aide, then. Sagiri, does that make you the commander? Oh. Parts of the definition appeared discrepant, but on the whole, there are no major issues with that denomination. So you basically, told yes. Us, you know. I have no record <laughs> of the facts being queried. <laughs> yeah. True. You noticed it too, right, Tyon? Yeah, and I can't make sense of it. The consul's attitude is one thing, but 
more importantly, the Ferronis. The one thing a colony needs, and there's no sign. Yeah, there's no here. flame clock here. Or maybe, maybe it's just something completely different from the colonies we know. I think it is. I mean, it's pretty Especially damn different already. Mobius, come on. Were we too hasty coming here? For Senna's sake, and for that girl she trusts, let's hope not. Let's go get introduced. Hey guys. Hey boys and girls, or I guess robots. Do they have? I guess they still have genders. I'm relieved to see you back safe. Oh, so they're not all mocking us. No status abnormalities? We're all good here. Number 10 and number 8 are currently on a mission, but should be back soon. He talks to our normal. Not... Yeah. Revising query. Are there status abnormalities in number 4's condition? Uh, no. I'm okay. Number 4 can still fight. Why are you normal? However... Number 7, you're not at fault. If anything, it's my I think fault. maybe she's the commander. Four abilities in battle. Without disengaging the Ferran's limiter, I, I couldn't fight prop. Uh. What the? Something's wrong here. Uh oh. <gasps> Number what four. the fuck? What, what's wrong? What is it? What he the hell? died! What happened? Sparks, you don't think this is... His flame's leaking. What? How is that happening? What? I'm cold. Uh -huh. Number seven? Where? I can't see a thing. <laughs> what the fuck? He just died in he front just of us. Died in her arms. What the heck happened? <gasps> Sigiri, what just happened? That's a great question, Zeta. Number four has given his life to the Pharaoh. What? Oi, you better explain yourself. The Ferons are powered by life's flames. The flame clocks that impel them are synchronized to those of their passengers. Eh? Wait, did you say flame clocks? Does that make the Ferons... Like Indeed, many Veronises? The design differs, but you could see them as functionally identical to... I guess that makes sense. In addition... Ferron flame clocks are fitted with the function to disengage the limiters. Disengage the limiters? Doing so allows the Ferron to burn through the flames that fuel it at an accelerated rate, maximizing the unit's power output. Once the limiter is disengaged, a first-term soldier can perform at a level oh, wow. comparable to a colony's commander. That incandescent power is the pith and marrow of the Ferrons, of Colony Zero's might. But what is Colony Zero to begin with? Who are you? Who are its soldiers? You could say we are those who work behind the scenes of this war. Your assassins? Battlefield manipulation, inciting sedition, information control, elimination of third party forces. Oh. It's all due to our ceaseless, thankless efforts that this war can continue unabated, and each life's fate arrives as ordained. In other words, we maintain the fabric of the world. That is the duty which is our pleasure to fulfill. Nothing but empty words. That's the reason you put your men in those things. Well, mate, you just showed us your whole ass. <laughs> I knew you didn't care about the lives of your soldiers after all. So, okay, so they're tied to the clocks themselves, I assume? Yeah. I treasure their lives above any other good. They are, to me, the most exalted substance. Their immaculate lives 
sacrificed in service to the world, permeated and formed the basis of the eternity we Mobius covet. Stop it. Oh, oh that's an angry Stenna. Uh oh. Souls lubricate the gears of the world through a sublime sacrifice. That is the highest calling. Isn't it the loftiest vocation conceivable? Surely you must agree. Shut up already! Oh. Oh. I, I beg your pardon. Have I said something to incur your displeasure? Does he A actually lot of things. Snap all of that and snap you. I... <laughs> How dare you? How could someone like you think for a second you treasure Sagiri? You have no right. We'll bring you down right here and now. Sagiri and everyone will be free from the flame cloud. Damn, Senna, I love it. But Get his ass. But what has brought this on? I told you from the start, I had no intention of fighting you. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> well, it seems unavoidable now. Uh-oh. Time to fight. It seems the negotiations have broken down. Truly regrettable, and yet perhaps inevitable. Interesting. So he actually was sincere with that. All Farron units, heed my call. You are ordered to oh, no. your limiters. Uh-oh. <gasps> Number seven, your orders. Bring all your might to bear and crush the Ouroboros. Sagiri, listen, you don't... Compliance. No... Commencing Ouroboros Annihilation. Time to fight! Sagiri. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, and you're not gonna fight with them, you little pussy? I know how you must feel. But for now, we have to fight, Senna. All units fall in and stand by. What's this? Consul, a report. What's the matter, number seven? Large expenditure of life's flames is forecast if limiters are disengaged for combat. Proposal following analysis of all units' flame totals. Restrict limiter disengagement to unit number seven. Hmm. I see. What? What's she doing? She's trying to get her mate to oh. fight fighting. <sighs> Number seven. I recognize your unparalleled radiance. It brings you honor. Now behold, by my authority as consul, I order you. All Ferron units disengage you bitch. limiters. <gasps> you little punk. Uh oh, snuffer. Just when I thought he couldn't go lower. I like how he calmly oh, is like, actually, seven. no, keep doing it, you know? Truly, you are a marvel. The cry wafting from your spirit, it will water this endless world and make it bloom eternal. <laughs> First off, let's deal with these guys. We'll kill yeah. that bitch later. Just wait for yeah. me. We'll get you out of this mess, I promise. Aww. All right, let's you fight. Are like colony data. <laughs> Oh, you're playing a Senna? Yeah, I'll play a Senna. And also, I'm sick of Tyon. <laughs> uh, we needed a good fight today. We haven't gotten one, like a true challenge. Yeah. This is a, the second longest episode, I think, actually. Uh, wasn't, uh... The no, wait, big... never mind. The clip that was, was like four, four hours. hours. Yeah. Never mind. I still think this is the second longest. I think so. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I could very well it's be wrong. It's very long. But next time we're just doing hero quests, though. 
This is just because I wanted to do all this, you know? You can see how long this is. Yeah. It's a cool quest, though. I like how intricate it is. Oh, they bound you? Okay. Please fucking, uh... We can train attack Sagiri. Yeah. Let's defeat the other ones first. Yeah. Alright, all that's left is saying. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Yeah. That's a Geary. I don't think you're locked onto it, though. I think you're locked onto another one. No, I'm locked onto it. No, you're locked onto Sagiri right now. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, yeah, I look. am. Number seven. You're right. Okay, now let's yeah. kill Sagiri. Now let's I'm murder. sorry, little. I'm sorry, little one. And let's use Senna. I'm a, sucker, I'm a big sucker for robot characters and media. Yeah, they're good. I like I guess I like Sage from Sonic Frontiers. I'm blanking on other ones. I mean, my OC is literally a robot. Robots are good. You've gotten really good at this game in general, Sid. Thank well you. done. I'd hope so. We've been playing for like 70 hours. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just complimenting you. Thank you. Very good. I appreciate it. After we finish Xenoblade 3, I'm gonna do a playthrough, everyone. I'm still debating on what I want to do. I'll probably do a poll, actually. I thought we had... Uh... Oh. Well, I'm debating between three. Yeah. 
Yeah. Kill. Scary, please. Just I really it. like how personal this is. You don't have to follow these orders. Sagiri, you're free to do what you want. Seki, free to... Well now. Hmm, what a curious phenomenon. But, uh, Number seven, uh, uh, I'm changing your orders. Kill that Urabaras first. Top priority. What the hell? Ugh. You're a dick. Don't do it, Sagiri! That's an order, number seven. Oh. Number seven. What are you? Oh shit! Huh? Get him! Did she just kill that thing? Fuck yeah! Oh, go get him, Cinna! Knock him off! Hell yeah! Wow, she nice. one shot him. Good job. I mean, it makes sense. She he did say li lim releasing the limiters would make her as strong as a commander. That's true. Sagiri, are you okay? Please talk to me, Sagiri. Can we cut the little swing flame blocks? He's already dead, sweetie. Noah, please. Yeah, please, Put Noah, cut them. For them all. Right. Slice. Aw. They're, they're little. They're so little. Nice. Yay! Mobius warning level. level. Almost six. I think level five is max. No, it isn't. There's still a couple of consoles left. Actually, no, it might be. But no, but there is still a few consoles left. the console's left. death in the line of duty, Colony Zero's chain of command is broken. Damn, God, you're powerful. He currently has no duties to perform and no orders to follow. That means you don't have to fight us anymore. However, it is a matter of record that Number 7 took hostile action against Ouroboros. Perhaps you wish to mete out an appropriate punishment. Oh, you already had Never. enough punishment you did nothing today. Wrong. Let's be real. Really, we should be thanking you. You killed the console for us. Why would... I mean, before... You attacked the console instead of us, so you held back from fighting us, and thanks to that, we were able to take down the console. Honestly, she did most of the work. <laughs> mm -hmm. anyway, Good job, girl. That's enough about that. Now it's time to think to the future, right? Redeemed? <laughs> Connected? I cannot comprehend. Huh? Why do you speak to number seven that way? Under what orders and from whom? Why did number seven disobey orders? Why did I not Aww. attack you as instructed? She's going through a crisis. She's so requesting confused. Swift reply. Furthermore, requesting orders. We order you to be a friend. Number seven is confused. Uh -huh. I do not know what actions to take. I know what it's like to feel lost, uncertain, not know where to turn. But even you must have some things you think you'd really like to do, right? Number seven does not have thoughts matching that description. What? In that we case, order you to have free will. Together. Can we do that? Let's I don't think, think that's possible. Do. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Is that an order? Nuh uh. Nobody's giving you orders anymore. From now on, Sagiri, the only orders you should follow Aww. are your own. <gasps> the situation described does not conform to the accepted definition of orders. I don't like her design. I, yeah, it's cute. It was just like a metaphor, or, or was it a simile? <laughs> I think it was a metaphor. I really cannot comprehend. 
Uh... But although I cannot comprehend, Sagiri gives orders to number seven. Yay! If the circumstances be interpreted this way, then Sagiri. Aww. I may be able to comprehend. That's right. Oh, Sagiri. Yay! Is it odd? No, it's no, your way of doing it, so. I don't think so. I'm sure it's exactly right. Whatever makes it work. Since, after all, you're free now. So, Sagiri, what are your orders for number seven? Top priority should be to investigate what it is that I want to do. More data must be gathered before this is ascertained. <laughs> That sounds very like you, but I think you're making it too complicated. <laughs> it doesn't have to be just one thing, and it can be anything, really. You could be a painter, you could be a cook. It can be yeah. anything. A writer, we had a writer yep. subplot. Anything at all. Check. In that case, yes, did you think of something? Hungry. Oh, got it. Right now, I think I'd like one of the Sagiri, Senna. Aww. Tee hee, tee hee. She's the same size as her, too. I know, so small. By the way, I wanted to ask about the Pharon. I suppose there's no way to use them anymore. That statement is incorrect. Oh. Oh, really? Motive function can be restored by switching to alternative power source using ether what? cylinders. Okay. Power output will be inferior to the original flame clock system, and the limiter can't be removed. Uh, that means that's output. good, you won't die. Good. I will be able to fight on. Wow. Th that's great news. Do you think we can ask you to fight by our side again then? Understood. Pharon unit number seven will gladly join Ouroboros battle Yay! unit. Yay! Yay! We'll be counting on you then, Sagiri. The last hero. We've gotten them all, Sid. We did it! And just under the three hour mark. <laughs> Ouroboros command structure accepted. What if it wasn't Senna? That'd be what? It's Noah. <laughs> it's Noah. Nice. We can send him. Yeah, it's, so she's a debuffer. First, let's talk about all the stuff you might want to do in the future. Affirmative. Look at her. She's so fucking big. I love it. Awesome. So cool. We got a robo buddy. Let's switch uh, to Senna's class and then we'll stop. No. Oh, look at her in the back. Look at that cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, Senna, we're switching. Can we do this next time? <laughs> Just remove the icon, Sydney. You don't have to do the thing. Yay! Line up. Yay, she's dance. got tracer pants. Let's go. All right. Thank you. I, was, I can't move the cursors. Out. I can't. I'm too weak. Let's see. <laughs> hey, my little friends. Thank you, everyone, three. so much for watching. Can't forget our progress update. Machine assassin. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Long episode, but I hope you enjoyed it. Next what? time, I think we'll do Lanzi's hero quest. Yay, Lanzi! Maybe we'll do both those two, Lanz and Sunna's hero quest. That sounds like a good we idea. Want, we said we wanted to do two per episode, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. All right. Till next time. Goodbye!